Hello everyone, my name is Michelle Brewster. I'm a PhD student in history at UC Irvine. I'm very honored to be a part of these conversations about engaged humanities. And I would like to thank Jake and Mark and Rachel for their very thoughtful responses. I will go straight into the questions at hand. So the first one, um, is it the faculty member's responsibility to address challenges facing a graduate student in non-professorial work? I would agree with the previous three panelists that yes, it is the faculty member's responsibility to work with their student in learning about various opportunities. I would like to um, second or build on what Mark had said, however, that realistically those conversations may not happen as much as we would like because professors themselves did not take the path of non-professorial work. They may feel and they may just not have the knowledge to uh, advise a student in that area. Some professors may not feel comfortable or may not feel that it's within the scope of their job to advise a student in that area since there are resources already set up at career centers and for personal challenges, there's the counseling center. So a professor may feel wary or feel that it's not their role, it's not their responsibility to advise in areas that, are, that fall outside of their specific expertise. So there, I, some faculty members may not embrace this change in terms of advising a student in non-professorial paths. I agree with Jake that this kind of paradigm shift would require institutional change and not just on the level of a conversation. So that is, uh, I would say that for satisfactory performance, of, uh, in an internship or fellowship that engages humanists with community organizations, that students should get credits or units and pay for that work, that the faculty could be incentivized via metrics for tenure, which is what Jake had mentioned, or perhaps some level of compensation. At UC Irvine, the Humanities Out There program and I know of another school, uh, University of Wisconsin, that have programs that uh, are, that have, excuse me, that have ongoing relationships with community organizations. And graduate students move in and out of standing positions from year to year. And that provides both the community, the input and the expertise from a graduate student. And I think it informs the graduate students perception and an understanding of their own work and how it translates into the public sphere. So that said, um, it is a, stu a graduate student's responsibility to seek out resources for professional development and for self-enrichment and looking at these non-professorial paths. I myself did this uh, look, uh, applying for a fellowship with the UC Irvine Humanities Out There program. And that led to another fellowship, which was the UC Davis Public Scholars Program, which is UC wide. And I was the representative from UC Irvine in that program. So for both of those fellowships, I worked for the Laguna Art Museum. I was there to do research and to develop a, a lesson plan for fourth grade teachers so that for an upcoming exhibition on 19th century California history, that the teachers will have materials that they can use in the classroom before they take their students to the museum. And the culmination of, my, of both of those fellowships was leading a workshop for fourth grade teachers, incorporating the California state standards and common core standards with the, uh, the major aspects of this upcoming, uh, upcoming exhibition on California history. And that was a very exciting um, um, event for me, and I think it shapes how I see myself in the future and what types of work I might be able to do in the future. So other benefits besides uh, learning about these state standards and common core standards, I concretely learned how my research can be made directly relevant to teachers and students and to the community. And the fellowships offered me the opportunity to dialogue 
with the museum director, the education director, the curator in New York. And that helped me to go deeper into my own research process and what it is I, I'm trying to uh, work on myself. So I will have a dissertation chapter that is directly a result of my work with the museum. And that's a very exciting chapter for me because I, I know that would not have happened without these fellowships and without this work with the larger community. And I think, so in that sense, the Engaged Humanities has not diluted my work, but it has given it much more depth and, and breadth to, uh, to cover areas that are extremely important in, in what I do. So the, lastly, I believe that uh, the fellowships gave me ideas about how I might want to write children's books in the future and always try to link my more abstract research uh, to a lay public and especially looking at the uh, K through 12 standards and how I might make my work um, available to a lay audience. It's been an honor to participate in these conversations. Thank you very much.